Hello there, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful and excited to have each and every one of you here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Leo, this is your October 2024 prediction. And what I'm going to do for you today is open your reading with an Enchanted Forest Oracle card. Then I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you followed by a bonus card from the spirit animals oracle deck and then close off with an angel number so those of you that are watching today if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers this is all going to give you your confirmation and guidance today so stay tuned for all of this my beautiful friends all right let's call in spirit and open up your reading see what it is that spirit would like you to hear in this month of october so we are getting for you, Leo, where there is hope, there is a way. Where there is hope, there is a way, everyone. So the message here is don't believe the past that past defeats or disappointments will keep you from succeeding. True success grows from the lessons. A hopeful heart never gives up. So once again, don't believe that past defeats or disappointments will keep you from succeeding. True success comes from lessons. A hopeful heart never gives up. So they want you to keep going here, keep moving. Those of you that are watching. All right, so let's go ahead and pull three tarot cards here. I'm getting green eyes coming in as a sign for some of you. I don't know if you have green eyes or there's someone in your life that has green eyes. So we've got the hangman here. All right, so things might feel like they're upside down or you might feel like the world you're living is upside down. I feel you're going to gain clarity this month, this month of October. It's going to be a very powerful month for you, everyone. So if things are feeling like they're upside down, you're being thrown out of your comfort zone, it's because you're growing. Okay, so that's the hangman. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is going to be prominent in your life. However, it tends to be in the background. So some of you are going to feel this energy intensely, while others you're going to feel this subtly. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. So you're going to gain clarity here. After that upside down, you're going to gain clarity and you're gonna see yourself moving forward. You're being called to move forward with an idea or something that shows up for you here. This is going to give you a sense of freedom, right? You're gonna feel like, ooh, this sounds like a good idea. You know what? I feel like it might free me up. So if this is the kind of stuff that you're thinking, it's giving you joy and excitement. It's giving you hope, follow it. Okay, so that's the Knight of Swords. And we've got the chariot card. Oh my goodness, look at this. You are really moving ahead here, Leo. And I feel that some of you are really understanding how this game of life works. You're starting to align yourself to your desires. And because you made a decision somewhere in your life, a decision that you're going to make even now in the month of October, I'm seeing you steamrolling ahead. You're going to see how quickly you start to progress and see results. Now, this is a secondary major arcana card. This lets me know that you're going to experience a big change this month. All right. So uh, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading today. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Now, this is going to strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. All right. So some of us are seeing a lot of angel numbers, repeating numbers. I've got the number 11 here. I've got the number seven. I feel there's something spiritual happening here. So some of you might be seeing the number 11 or sevens or 117. Okay. I'm also getting the number 12 coming in. So again, these are numbers that some of you are seeing for a specific reason. Anytime we see numbers, Look up the numerology term, uh, numerology meaning for that number because that's where you're going to receive your messages. So before I begin, I just wanted to mention that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind, but also check out your moon, rising, and Venus signs. 
All right, Leo, we've got a lot of different things that are happening here, a lot of fast-paced energy coming in for October. Now, I feel a lot of us are going to feel a slower energy, but then there's others that are going to feel the opposite of that. I feel this is you, Leo. Okay, so, and as things are moving quickly, it just feels like your external world is moving quickly. Maybe people are moving quickly. Maybe you are moving quickly, right? But what's happening here is, I feel some of you are feeling this energy, like it feels like a little bit of a funnel, like a twister, right? Where maybe you're confused at this time around something specific. Uh, maybe you're confused about someone's feelings or emotions. Maybe you're confused about what, what someone said. Maybe there's no clarity there. Um, it's just really a mixed up kind of um, odd, strange occurring energy. I don't know if any of you are feeling this. If you are, share with me in the comment section below. But it's really to getting you to look inward. I feel this is the purpose of why this experience is coming into your life, Leo, is because you're meant to look inward right now. There's something there that you're meant to see and release out of your life that might be sending you in these swirly, twirly um, situations. Okay, those of you that are experiencing this. Others, I feel that there is this elevation that is happening with you consciously with the information and the knowledge that you have. Like there is this new information coming in and maybe you're questioning things, maybe around beliefs, maybe around government. And it's a slow leak into your mind, but it's each leak is giving you this profound experience in your mind. So I feel some of you are awakening. This is why 11 was coming up for you is because a lot of you are waking up. Um, waking up to the reality of what it is that you're living in. Okay, and we go through this incrementally here. So there's different stages that we all experience, but our unique and our, uni is, our journey is unique. But it's almost, um, it's really interesting because some of you out there, I feel, can't connect to a lot of the people in your life. And it's only because they think differently. They're not where you are uh, conscious, consciously. So what spirit is asking you to do here is to connect with people that are in the same energy as yourself. I feel it'll just make your life easier, but especially because you'll understand, they'll understand, and you can openly, openly have a conversation, right? So perhaps some of you are meant to align yourself with people that live in the same energy. You can join groups, right? We have a lot of people here in the comment section below as well, right? Um, and just even just in your area, right? Maybe attend workshops or even go to bookstores. Like I've met a lot of people at my local bookstore that have tarot cards. It's a spiritual bookstore, right? And I, I've got, became friends with them as well. So um, you just never know what might happen here, but things are shifting, okay? Things are definitely going to shift and that shift is coming internally for you. Spirit is saying it's inward, it's spiritual. I'm, given, I'm being given the number 735. Um, 735. I don't know if this is a time for something specific or if this, there's a code. I feel they're saying it's a light code for some of you light workers out there. It's coming in as a code. So you might want to write that down and maybe just uh, research what that number means to you. There's a message coming in with that. Um, gaining a better understanding of what it is that you desire to experience in your reality. That's the other thing. I feel sometimes we don't have clarity. Maybe we feel like we think we know what that is, but it's completely the opposite. Maybe you don't have clarity on what that actually looks like because you've never experienced it before, right? So I want you to imagine someone that's living a life that you would like to experience. Imagine you in that life, but with different people in it, obviously, but imagine that being a reality for yourself. Um, and I want you to really clearly visualize whatever it is that you desire, Leah. What is it that you desire to experience in your life? Visualize it for 20 good seconds, walk around in there, um, touch things, right? Smell the air. And who are you in this version? Like, what do you feel like? What do you think this person does in order to create this reality? You now need to connect up with that version of yourself. And I feel this connection is what's coming in through this funnel. This is what it is, the funnel. It's actually a portal that is attaching you so you can actually um, oh my gosh, leap into this new timeline, connect with it in a way that you draw it into yourself. Wow, that is very powerful, which is giving you almost like, it feels like spirit is giving you um, ammunition to move forward, right? 
They're like, all right, you're all stocked up here and let's get moving. And this stocking up is you planning, strategizing, having a game plan, right? For your future, setting a goal, crushing it, setting another goal, crushing it and setting another goal. This is what this card is. This night means business. This night is not here to muck around everyone. This person has a plan. They're going in there with an intention to win. This is what you're doing right now in your life is you're going in with an intention to win in your life. Spirit wants you to take responsibility for your own soul. Protect your mind. Make sure that you're only taking in information, absorbing energy that is going to actually help you move forward. If anything that you're taking in right now, consuming mentally or through the eyes, ears, your senses, if you're taking information in from external sources that is not in alignment with your desired results, then you need to shift that energy into something that is in alignment with that. The more that you surround yourself with energies that work against your desires, the more of that you're going to experience and not your desired result. So you have to actually change things, especially within yourself, right? Communicate clearly is what spirit is saying here. Sometimes I feel that some of us, not all of us, um, are really kind and kindness. There's, um, you know, spirit asks us to be kind and compassionate and loving, right? But you also have to be clear. It doesn't mean that you say it in a mean way. It means that you come from a place of love, but you let people know how it is that you want to be treated because if you don't let them know, they're not going to know and they're going to keep treating you a certain way, which takes your energy, right? Maybe you're kind and you don't want to hurt someone's feelings by telling them that you don't want to do this thing. Maybe you have a really hard time saying no, right? No is a complete sentence. You don't have to explain yourself. And perhaps some of you are meant to say no a little bit more in your life. This is going to give you a sense of freedom here, everyone. I feel that some of you are really going to step into your own and it's your own energy. And this is what spirit is calling you to do this month of October is to step into your true authentic energy, your essence, that version of you, right? It resides, it's in there. Know that it's in there, right? And I feel some of you are feeling this version of yourself wanting to, um, come out in the world and experience the world. So allow it to, right? Work on yourself. That's the other thing Spirit is saying, work on yourself. Um, you know, whatever it is, uh, you can get up in the morning every single day and choose to be that version of yourself that you're seeing in your dreams and desires, right? You can step into that version now. You just have to make a choice and then follow through on it. There is nothing stopping you, says Spirit, other than yourself. Now, I feel that you have to have a clear vision and a plan. You have to set a goal and you have to figure out, okay, how am I going to reach it? What can I do with my own energy right now in order to get to this place and start putting things in place, right? Get those steps, do it one step at a time. Don't take it all in at once. One thing at a time here, everyone, and you're going to see how quickly you start to free yourself from things that were holding you back. And now you're claiming victory here with this, right? And the more you do it, the more you practice this, the more you crush your goals, the more you're going to see success and look at how quickly you're moving forward. This is a card of triumph, of victory, right? This is accomplishment, but it starts somewhere. And Spirit is asking you to start now. This is you getting in the driver's seat of your life, okay? You're the one that's in control of where you want to go. You always have been. Sometimes I feel like some of us are a victim of our circumstance. I remember when I was a victim of my own circumstance, and when I realized that, I started to go through this process of thinking like, oh my gosh, I can actually change my mind if I did this thing. But it's like, oh, if I do this thing, then this other thing will happen. And that other thing was way worse than what I was. It was just all of these other things that, and then you know what? One day it just happened. And yes, I had to go through that adjustment period of breaking free from an old life that I didn't desire. I wasn't happy in and move into this waiting period of me moving into this new life, right? So I feel some of you have gone through that energy and you moved into this. This is you coming out on the other side now. And this is you really understanding, okay, this is what I want. I know where my destination is. I'm going to get into the driver's seat. I'm going to drive me there rather than other people trying to drive me where they don't know where I want to go. They're not me, right? You are you. So Spirit is saying, be yourself and move forward as that version because this is where you're going to really see your energy amplify. This is where you're meant to shine your light is in this part of yourself. And you might be going through an experience in your life right now that is actually shedding light on this version of you. And some of you might be fighting it. Maybe you're like kind of going through this, you know, um, 
turbulence going through this like it almost feels like a swirl like two people swirling with one another and it's just turning into this like I don't know spiral right and it could be you fighting with your ego yourself and it's just this dark night of the soul energy for some of you but you're coming out and there's light there like you can see the light already something is going to be revealed here for sure now the other thing spirit is wanting you to understand here is when you first start to take responsibility of your soul when you detach yourself from some of the program programming that you have um you know in within you which comes from your childhood um you know your environment your uh cultural things um you know community things your uh, your upbringing your your schooling all this kind of stuff friends and stuff you know your social circles you could become this version of yourself and there's been programming that's been put in over that time when you start to release all these energies and become your own self the self you know that exists within you when you start to do that it can be a little bit wobbly sometimes it feels like we can't get our bearings you know we might have people that are angry at us you're kind of going through this thing and you're shifting but I feel that and then you feel lonely right we go into a place of feeling lonely but this is an actually an opportunity where you get to learn more about yourself where you get to go inward so this is where spirit is maybe asking some of you to go inward and embrace um, this quiet time especially if you are going through quiet time maybe there's worry here you want to release any kind of worry around time time something related to time here um, maybe energy is really quick and you're in a place where you're not really quickly moving or moving as quickly as you would like to you're on your own journey don't compare yourself to others and where others are going focus on yourself focus on your journey don't worry about anything else okay spirit uh, uh, there's a song don't worry be happy in the background here that I'm hearing don't worry be happy right so um use positive affirmations or things that keep you in that uplifted mood of course we can't always feel uplifted all the time but when we become aware of emotions and things that are starting to pull our energy towards that lower vibration we can actually when we become aware of it shift that energy and this is what spirit is asking you to do at this time right know that you have the strength you have actually warrior strength is what they're bringing in here there's something that you're meant to do here Leo there's some sort of a decision that you're making I feel you're contemplating in your mind maybe there's all sorts of different things that are popping into your mind and you're trying to gain clarity call in spirit spirit is asking you to call in spirit and release and let go like take off whatever that energy is that's on your shoulders right now I feel that maybe you're carrying weight or burdens of others and this is not for you to carry this is not something that you're meant to worry about so what spirit wants you to do because what I'm getting here is somebody on this um, wagon someone who's taken the wheel of their life but it's almost like you're carrying like there's baggage in the car and it's too heavy it's not allowing you to move so even though you've taken the wheel maybe you're holding on to something and this something needs to be released so it's time for you to do that now Leo this month of October and watch all the things that start to happen for you like some of you oh my gosh you cleared a lot of things right there's a lot of things that you have gone through and you are someone that's very hopeful you have this beautiful energy about you um, so no matter where you are in life know where there is hope there is a way okay you're going to wiggle your way through whatever it is that you're going through and you're going to come out on the other side even stronger and even closer if not in the energy and vibration of the desired reality that you're wanting to experience this happened to with me I remember a little while ago I had to disconnect from somebody as because of a really silly blow up and I was like you know what I'm not even going to deal with this I'm going to let spirit take care of it and a year later everything's back to normal and even better than it what it was before but I kind of didn't want to get involved in the drama there in my life at that time but oh my gosh it's so interesting how spirit works its miracles I really mean stuff I've seen in my own life so some of you may have experienced this energy as well so you can share with us in the comment section below so what I'm going to do now is pull a bonus card from the spirit animal oracle deck I'm going to read you the interpretation here from the guidebook it comes with an oracle message and a protection message I'm going to read them both to you today so we are getting here hummingbird spirit be here now they want you to be in the present moment 
okay, to experience the now. Don't worry about the past, don't worry about the future, let's live in the here and the now. So some of you might be seeing a hummingbird in your life. This is a confirmation for you. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now on your screen. So we have the number four, we have this, these beautiful red flowers, these are all coming in as signs. So if you're seeing the number 34 in your life, that's a confirmation of this message. Uh, three plus four is seven. So the number seven in your life, maybe you are a life path number seven, maybe you were born on the seventh of the month. These are all confirmations for you. And those of you looking for timing, I'm getting 34 days and 34 hours around the message of this card. So the Oracle message is the hummingbird's wings beat so swiftly it can hover in seemingly seeming stillness as it drinks deeply from a flower. Hummingbird spirit comes to remind you that the beauty and sweetness of life is in the eternal now, the timeless present. Here and now, you are becoming the person you wish to be to have the experience you wish to have. Focus your energy on the flower before you for what you desire is being provided. Yes, there are blossoms everywhere. The choices can be dazzling. Hummingbird spirit's message is that you have no need to go about in search of something better. For all that you require and desire is before you. You will know this as you become still, feeling your connection to spirit who loves you unconditionally and will always provide for you. Now the protection message here is nectar is everywhere. But hummingbird spirit is here to remind you that flying from flower to flower and being all over the place wastes precious energy. So be still at this time. Be here now in the present moment, enjoying the sweetness and sustenance available to you. Focus on one flower today, just one. Nectar is there for you and Hummingbird Spirit's message is that whatever you put your attention, wherever you put your attention, there your energy flows and you are focused on the sweetness or on finding something better somewhere else, always yearning and feeling that life is not enough and you are not enough. Are you feeling that energy? All you seek is right here, right now. Appreciate the present and you will see that you are where you need to be and enjoying what you are entitled to enjoy in this timeless and perfect moment. So look at that everyone, hummingbird spirit, be here and now. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull an angel number. Oh my gosh, I've been having cards jumping out today. We're gonna see uh, which angel number comes up. And I'm gonna use this card here at the top. I feel this belongs to you today, Leo. So blessed change. Some of you are going to experience a blessed change in your life. The number five, if you're seeing this number anywhere in your life, if you're life path five, maybe you're born on the fifth, this is a confirmation of this message for you. So you're receiving messages from the divine at this time. They're gonna come in from all, all many different ways here. Spirit is asking you to take your life as an adventure, okay? You're going to feel a sense of freedom. Freedom is coming in for you. Curiosity, they're wanting you to be curious. They want you to uh, take a leap of faith here and try different things, new opportunities, be open to new opportunities and trying new things in your life. You are on your life path. So they're confirming that Whatever it is that you're going through right now, whatever it is that you're experiencing in your life, this is a part of your life path. There's something that you are learning and growing from. All right, everyone, I'm super excited to announce to you that my sister-in-law Katomi has put together her Christmas ritual box. Now these are available right now. I have the link for these in the description box below. This is a protection box. There is a purpose behind this. It's gonna come with full instructions on how to use this kit. It comes with two candles. Each of these candles have a stone. One of the candles actually have a tassel, okay? The stones in these candles are going to be consecrated. So you're you're going to put intentions in these candles and you're going to be able to carry these stones around you after the fact. Now there's only a limited supply of these everyone so the deadline for these the last one you can order is on December the 5th and we wanted to get these out early because last year we sold out of them. So again secure yours today I've got the link for these in the description box below. All right, so before I end this video off, I just wanted to mention to everyone that I just opened my memberships page. It's been almost a month since it's been up and running. So if you're somebody that really enjoys my channel, enjoys the work that I do, and want to see more of what it is that I'm doing, you can join my membership page. Now the first tier is open, that's at $2.99 per month. And what you get here is custom emojis that I've made for all of you myself. 
all right? And there's stories behind each one, which I'm going to share with you throughout some posts uh, over the next little while here in the membership section of the community page. So once again, feel free to join my membership page, especially if you're wanting to support me at this time. So this is your message, this is your reading. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.